my topic is on carrot soup and multiplication. So the problem is that you want to multiply two numbers together. And you've got the numbers stored in positional notation. We're going to describe the base of the positional notation as beta. So for example, 101 means 1 times beta squared plus 0 times beta to the first power plus 1 times beta to the zeroth power. The basic operation of the algorithm is going to be accessing a multiplication table where the inputs to that multiplication table are one digit numbers. It's arbitrary where exactly you draw the line on the multiplication table, but we had to pick a spot and this makes most sense. So there are several free operations that we're allowed to do. And this is adding two numbers together, subtracting one number from another, or multiplying a number by the base, beta. To intuitively communicate the formula, we're going to use the box representation of multiplication, where the height of a box and the width of a box are both the inputs to the multiplication and the area is the output. We're going to start with the traditional solution. And what we're looking at right now is our desired output. We want to calculate the area of this box. This is done by decomposing it into four different other boxes using the FOIL method. I've color coded the different boxes and this is going to be relevant later. But now we can treat this as four different boxes of half the length, which we then run the same algorithm on. Here is the full algebraic formulation of those boxes. And here is the algorithmic complexity determined with the master theorem. You can see it is n squared. Karatsu multiplication, on the other hand, relies on an intermediate box, which I've colored green. The difference from the output we're looking for is that the most significant digit is not being multiplied by beta anymore. We can decompose that green box into another set of four boxes. And this decomposition shares the same red box as the decomposition of our target box. In fact, the decomposition of this green box is entirely composed out of the boxes that make up our original target. They are just scaled differently. Originally, the yellow boxes were scaled by beta, and the blue box was scaled by beta squared. Because the green box is equivalent to these boxes, I've set up an equation describing it. And then we're going to solve for yellow. And what we can see is that yellow is equivalent to green minus orange minus blue. This means that we can then substitute the yellow boxes in the original equation for the sum of these three components. The blue and red components of the yellow box decomposition are then combined into the already existent blue and red terms of the decomposition of the target. So our new target formula only has three boxes that it needs to calculate. And this is shown in this full Karatsuba formulation in algebra. And the algorithmic complexity is similar to the algorithmic complexity of the original solution, except we are only recursively calling this algorithm three times instead of four times, which means that n is raised to the exponent log base 2 of 3 instead of 2, which gives us an exponent of around 1.585.